Oh, come on, speed up. Speed up. Speed up, speed up. No, I didn't say that, Daniel. I said speed up. Not the other word. But I'll say it now. Speedo, 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 speedo. for our feature presentation. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. Alrighty, let's have a great game. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Yeah, let's. We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, good one. Famous, Famous buildings. buildings. Well, I shouldn't have a problem there. Ooh. The 1800s. Long time ago. All right. Weights, Weights and measures. Hmm. Young, Young people. people. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> and our final category. A little bit of everything. Popuri. Let's see how it goes. Let's get things underway, player one. Um, exactly for 200. 
An egg fried on both sides is flippantly described as this. What is over easy? Precisely. Pick again. It describes a scotch egg or a tough detective. What is hard boiled? Right, pick again. To hatch or to shed one's shyness is to come out of this. What is a shell? Precisely, pick again. What's known as the prairie one of these is actually a raw egg with condiments. What is an oyster? Exactly. Oh, interesting. Player three, you choose. Young people for 200. Amen to this leader, whose statue represents Utah in Washington, D.C.'s Statuary Hall. Who is Brigham Young? Right. Player one, you choose. On Father Knows Best, he played Dad to Betty, Bud, and Kathy. Who is Robert Young? Correct. Of the 906 Major League Baseball games that he pitched, he won more than half. He deserves an award. Who is Cy Young? Very good. You pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. I'll take it to you, buddy. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue. In 1992, he released Harvest Moon, a sequel to his Harvest album from 1972. Who's Neil Young? Correct. In a revealing memoir, Judy Lewis claims to be the love child of Clark Gable and this actress. Who is Loretta Young? That's it, exactly. That's what I was thinking, but it didn't come to me in time. Player two, you choose. Let's try potpourri for 200. Cavities in the skull called orbits house these organs. What are the uh, sinuses? Are the orbits? No. Cavities of the skull called orbits have these organs. What are the eyes? Let's try the eyes instead. Yes, indeed. Very good. Player one, what'll it be now? This man shared a Nobel Prize with his wife, Marie. Who is Pierre Curie? Exactly. Home to the Korean Stock Exchange, Yoido Island is also called this, like a famous New York island. Uh, what is, um, Palm Island? No. What is Manhattan? That's it, exactly. Hey, okay. you're still up, player one. This Siskel and Ebert gesture of approval dates back to Roman spectators determining a gladiator's fate. What is thumbs up? That's it. You're still in control of the board, player one. 1995 public sector strikes protesting Premier Alain Joupe's austerity plan paralyzed this country. What is France? Correct. Pick again. One isn't used to mend a holy cow, but a holy sock. What is a darning egg? Yes. 
Okay, player three. Weights and measures for 200. A long one is 2,240 pounds. A short one is 2,000. What's a ton? You bet. Over to you, player one. Whether you hide your light under it or not, it's equal to 35.24 liters. What is a bushel? Correct. Pick again. Abbreviated K, this international standard, is equal to approximately 3,281 feet. What's a kilometer? Very good. You pick again. Hold your breath. If you travel 20,000 leagues under the sea, you'd go 60,000 of these. What are miles? Definitely. Hey, you're still up, player one. What we Yanks would call a trillion, the Brits would call this. Anybody? What is a billion? Correct. Oh, okay. Player two, you choose. The 1800s for 200. This British surgeon used carbolic acid to sterilize his surgical instruments. A medical first. Uh, who is Dr. Walter Reed? Uh, I'll pass. No, sorry. Not sure. Who is Joseph Lister? Exactly. Oh, Joseph Lister. Okay. Let's try the 1800s for 400. This over 900-foot landmark was designed for the 1889 exposition in Paris. What is the Eiffel Tower? Right. Player one, what'll it be now? In 1876, this woman was proclaimed Empress of India. Who was Queen Victoria? Right. All right, player three, what'll it be? Famous buildings for 200. U.S. Army engineers built it in the early 1940s to house all of what was then the offices of the Department of War. What is the Pentagon? Exactly. Player one, it's your turn. This Italian Campanile has an inclination of about six degrees or about 13 feet from the vertical. What is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Right. Very good. The name of this Indian mausoleum means Crown of the Palace. What's the Taj Mahal? Very good. You pick again. This 77-story Manhattan building with a stainless steel spire was inspired by Art Deco and machine forms. What is the Empire State Building? No, sorry. What is the Chrysler Building? You bet. Oh, okay. Player two, what'll it be? The 1800s for 800. This Colorado Peak Finder was killed during the War of 1812 in what's now Toronto. Um, who is Pat? Yes. 
Player one, what'll it be now? In the middle of the century, David Livingston crossed this desert in the southwest of Africa. What is the Kalahari Desert? That's it. And in this round, our final answer. The Palace of Nations lies near the shore of this Swiss lake. What's like Geneva? That's it exactly. The end of the Jeopardy round, $13,200. Let's see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. We're off and running. Killing it. Bravo, player one. You're all alone in first place. Player two is $3,000, player three is $2,400. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. There are two daily doubles for you on this board, so let's get started. Let's check out the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Let's do that. Ooh, okay. Stringed instruments. There's a few of them. Ooh. College football. Tough one. Okay. Quasi-related pairs. Okay. TV and film. Deal with that category. Ah, good one. Around the USA. And rounding out, we have. Hmm, interesting. World history. Let's see what happens. This round, you start us off, player three. Around the USA for 400. Texarkana, Texas was incorporated in 1874. Texarkana in this state wasn't incorporated until 1880. What is Arkansas? Yes! Player one, it's your turn. The town of Speedway lies within this Indiana capital. What is Indianapolis? Right. This California city hosts America's oldest continuously running jazz festival. What is San Francisco? No, and I am sorry. What is Monterey? Yes. Oh, okay. If you would, player three. Quasi-related pairs for 400. Bullet Star McQueen and Uganda's Amin. What are Steve and Iggy? Yes. Player one, your turn. I'll try quasi-related pairs. Heavyweight champ Larry and golfing champ, Tom. What are, who are Holmes and Watson? Right, pick again. Jekyll's dark half and a worshiper at the Golden Temple in the Punjab. What are hide and seek? Correct, pick again. A World War II German defensive line and Judge Bean. What are Siegfried and Roy? Correct. Pick again. The Magic Mountain author and a 1978 Christopher Reeve role. Uh, who are Man and Superman? Hey, you got it. Hey, you're still up, player one. Nashua is one of the largest cities in this New England state. What is New Hampshire? Definitely. 
Player one, you're still in control of the board. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager now. I'll try 4,200. Here's the clue. The playing field for a popular outdoor game gave this Kentucky city its name. What is Bowling Green? Precisely. The beginning. Uh, play football, 400. Term for a player who isn't recruited, but just ambles onto the field to try out. What is a walk-on? That's it exactly. Player two, your turn. College football for 800. Mississippi State is represented by this persistent creature named Bully. What is a bulldog? Precisely. Pick again. Oh, that makes sense. I'll try college football for 1,200. The University of this state was the fitting 1999-2000 champion of the Big Sky Conference. What is Montana? Correct. Pick again. I'll try college football for 1,600. The Outland Trophy goes to the nation's outstanding interior, one of these. No, not a decorator. What is lineman? Precisely. Pick again. College football for 2000. An old oaken bucket goes to the winner of an annual football game between Purdue and this cross-state rival. What's our name? No, and I am sorry. What is Indiana University? Very good. Indiana University, okay. Okay, player three. That's all right. TV and film for 400. All right. It's the hip 1996 film that popularized lines like, your money, baby. Um, what is... What is, let's see, swingers? Correct. Over to you, player one. The man seen here directed this 1941 cinematic masterpiece. Here's, Here's the, clue. the clue. We are deeply shocked and deeply regretful about the results. Of what is Citizen Kane? That's it. In 1998, this MASH star made a smashing return to Broadway in the hit play, Art. Who is Alan Alden? Yes, indeed. This TV radio station featured Dr. Johnny Fever, Venus Flytrap, and Les Nessman on the air. What is WKRP? WKRP in Cincinnati. Precisely. Pick again. Usum Kasana in Tamburlaine the Great was played on Broadway in 1956 by this future starship captain. Who is William Shatner? That's correct. Uh, string instruments for 400. A typical symphony orchestra has 32 of these instruments, but only one tuba. What are violins? Precisely. Pick again. The best classical guitars are this type, named for a country, like the ones made by Alhambra. Uh, what are Spanish guitars?
Precisely. Pick again. The bull fiddle is also known as the double this. What is double bass? Right. Pick again. It's stringed on its own or followed by sick chord. What's a heart? Correct. Pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. I'm going to try 17,000. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. Its name may come from the African Mambanza, which is a similar instrument. What's a banjo? Correct. Pick again. Uh, what is the word, please? In 1934 and 1935, this Chinese communist leader led the Red Army on the Long March. Uh, who is Mao Zedong? Right you are. In 1826, this European low country established its first tea plantations on Java. What is the Netherlands? Yes. Before the Battle of Trafalgar, he told his fleet, England expects every man will do his duty. Who is Horatio Nelson? Correct. Pick again. Stephen I, the son of a Magyar prince, became king of this country in 1000 AD. What is Hungary? That's it. And now to complete this round, in 1920, the League of Nations gave this country a mandate to administer the territory of Namibia. What is South Africa? Right you are. All right. Let's check out the scores to see how the players are doing at the end of this double jeopardy round. $56,000. Splendid work, player one. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Volcano. Go ahead. Make you know what? Wager. I'm feeling gutsy. I'm going to do 44,000. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. It's the only continent with no active volcanoes. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player three, was... Australia. Quite the gamble, player three, oh, but Australia. it was worth it, wasn't it? Good for you. So I'm going to drop down to $12,000. But player two... Your question, up. player two, was... Nothing. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Let's see what that'll cost you. So, Austra so Antarctica does have active volcanoes. Oh, well. I am sorry. But I am going to come out the winner. Player one, your question was? Incorrect, I'm afraid. Let's see what that'll cost you. I will see you all for that next game, everybody. When the going gets tough. The tough get going. <laughs> A super effort from all of our players. This was a terrific game. Congratulations to our big winner, player one. Thanks so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now.